The fourth conclusion is about the T statistic. From its formula, we realize that the T statistic is unchanged. In other words, the statistical significance of the explanatory variables in the model is unchanged. Changing the unit of measurement should not affect the statistical significance of any variables. The fifth result is that the R squared is unchanged. R squared is the goodness of fit that measures how much variation in the outcome variable can be explained by the explanatory variables in the model. The change in the unit should not affect it. We can show it using its definition. 1 minus the residual sum of squares divided by the total sum of squares. The residual sum of squares and the total sum of squares are both rescaled by k squared, leading to an unchanged r squared. The sixth conclusion is about the f statistic for the overall significance of the regression. It is also unchanged. We can see it from its relation with the r squared. The seventh conclusion concerns the f statistics and the lm statistics for testing multiple exclusion restrictions. Recall that the F statistics can be computed using the R squared form from the restricted and unrestricted models. The R squares are unchanged in both models. Therefore, the F statistics are identical after we rescale the outcome variable. As far as the LM statistic is concerned, it involves the restricted model and the auxiliary regression. The residuals from the restricted model change by the rescaling factor of k. However, the R squared from the auxiliary regression will not change when we use the residuals as the outcome variable, leaving the LM statistic unchanged. The last observation is about the slope estimates when y is in logarithmic form. When the outcome variable is scaled by k, we can write out the log form in two terms. The log k will be incorporated into the new intercept, while the slow estimates will remain unchanged.